guys. Uh, welcome to all of you all. And uh, today we have a very interesting live conversation going on uh, because uh, we have the team of Danath who is live all the way from Expo Dubai 2020. And they will be talking to us about Pearls of Bahrain from the Bahrain Pavilion. So we look forward to witnessing exclusive natural Bahraini pearl once again. So yes, so we would love to see and know more about the Bahrain Pavilion from Expo 2020. Hi, so this is Bahrain Pavilion. As you know, Bahrain is one of the densest countries in the whole world. Um, so our pavilion's theme is density gives opportunity because we see our density as a positive thing and how it creates opportunities for us. Like we have density in history, in religions, in culture. We have people from different countries and religions and cultures. We all live together, how we all are connected. And we wanted to reflect that on the design of our pavilion. If you see, we have 120 mm -hmm. columns in the whole building, how they all are connected, holding each other. And uh, as we see that as a, as a positive thing and as an opportunity, if you remove one column wow. from the building, the whole building can collapse. So even in Bahrain, remove one part of that density, it can collapse. So uh, in our in our pavilion, we're going to have different exhibitions which keep changing every six weeks. So first exhibition is under the theme of sea, which talks about pearl diving and pearl trading in Bahrain. And we have uh, Pearling Path in Bahrain, which is one of the sites yes. listed under World Heritage Sites. This exhibition talks about the pearl diving in Bahrain. And here are nice. the equipments which were brought from Bahrain National Museum. All mm -hmm. these equipments were used by the divers for the pearl diving. And also, right. on the other side, we have uh, the pearl trading equipments, which were used by the guy who used to do pearl business. It's pearl called trading. Awash mm -hmm. Bahraini. Yes. And of course, that should be here. Here we have uh, an exhibition of pearl. Today is the last day for the exhibition. Yes. Three famous Bahraini families. All these pearls are natural pearls. Uh, the, these pieces are from Al Mafal family. Yes. These ones, and if you can see these ones, they were found wow. recently in Bahrain Sea. So you can see Bahrain is still rich with such kind of pearls. Right. And then, on the other side, of course, we have pearls from uh, Al Fardan family and Al Mahmoud right. family. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And of course, now Wonderful. I can hand over to Donald and they can explain about it. Yes. Thank you so much. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Welcome to our mini lab and expo. Mm -hmm. We have two X-ray. We brought from our laboratory in Bahrain two X-ray machines that are used for pearl testing. One right. Can see whether a pearl is natural or cultivated based mm -hmm. on the internal structure. Here you can mm -hmm. see the samples. From Lovely. the X-ray machine, I can tell which one is the natural. For example, this okay. one here, first one on the right, you can see a lot of circles. This is a natural pearl. That uh, the internal structure of natural pearl would typically resemble a tree, like this one. Okay, which is the smallest one here. Okay. The two here, the two of the pearls here, the two structures you see here, they belong to a cultured pearls. One, you can see one circle, it is the one with a man-made bead that they put it inside an oyster and the oyster just builds around it. This is the beaded cultured pearl. Mm -hmm. And this one over here, what you see in the center, it's just a cavity. What they do in here, they have two oysters, a donor and an acceptor. It will, okay. They will take a small tissue from the donor, they will put it in the acceptor. This tissue will start to form a pearl, but usually it would be irregular in shape and right. with a cavity in the center, like what we saw on the, on the X-ray image. Mm -hmm. 
And the, uh, the second machine over here, that's the X-ray fluorescence, which is an X-ray machine used to differentiate the salt water pearls from fresh water ones. We're trying right. with the camera to detect mm -hmm. the reaction of pearls under X-ray. This is a salt mm -hmm. water pearl, this is a fresh water pearl. When exposed to X-ray, fresh water pearls fluoresce. This is how we wow. separate the two. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's interesting to know. And what else from the Bahrain Pavilion can we see? Can you show us those equipments which were carried by the divers, so, you know, in, back in the ancient time? Yes, that one. Yes. This is the weight mm -hmm. that the divers would tie around their ankles so they right. can uh, go all the way deep. These are the traditional uh, tools they use back then. Perfect. Right. And can we see more of these tools, please? Uh, is it possible to show them a little closely? And what is that, Layal? It's a pulley. Okay. It's a pulley and rope used by the hauler. So they pull mm -hmm. the divers back up to uh, the dow. Interesting. And out here, to what do we see? This is the nose um, ah. peg that they would use. Lovely. These they would have around their fingers to protect their um. fingers. So they call them finger guards. Mm -hmm. This is still used till this very day, which is called a mifliga or a knife, to open mm -hmm. up the oysters, which is still being used till this very day. Mm -hmm. Interesting. This is the yeah. weight. Yes. Fantastic. And this is the bag which you also use during your yes. Dion, which you use during yes. your pearl diving pearl trip, dive. and mm -hmm. it's used till this very day. These okay, are all items from Bahrain's National Museum that are being displayed at Expo 2020 Dubai. Mm -hmm. And tell me that when are you at Expo 2020? So our audience, they can definitely plan a visit and come to the Bahrain Pavilion. So uh, the currently the theme of the Bahrain Pavilion is called Al Bahar or Sea in English, mm -hmm. and uh, so Donat is part of that theme because obviously because of the pearl pearl connection, and this uh, exhibition will be on until. December 7th. So Donut will be okay. here until December 7th. And then after that, the pavilion will um, launch their new exhibition. Very interesting. And Layal, you know, most of our audience have always been interested in knowing uh, about these educational courses that Donut offers. So can you please highlight some information about that? So Donut offers uh, courses on pearls, diamonds, and gemology in general. Mm -hmm. They can mm -hmm. uh, visit Donut's website to register. Some courses are offered online and some are uh, on campus. All right. Fine. And Layal, before we sign off, can we see the pearls of Bahrain once again, please? Sure. Today is the last day for this right. exhibition. Mm -hmm. So if anyone is in Dubai, um, they should visit before the pearls are um, removed off the screen. Very interesting. Uh, there's a question asked by an audience that, uh, that do you accept testing at your pavilion in Expo 2020? Yes, we do. We're doing free live testing of pearls mm -hmm. only. Okay. So if you have any pearl jewelry, you're more than welcome to come and get your items tested. Wow. These are such uh, treasures, right? These are fantastic yes, tre Bahraini, treasures. Bahraini Bahraini treasures. <laughs> so thank you very much, Renu. All right. So thank you that you have a very long day ahead. So wish you all the very best, Leal, and I look forward to seeing you soon.